Hello and welcome to another First Impressions video brought to you by MMO Play. It's here taking a look at another browser-based game currently coming out called Tales of Lupata. It is a fairly traditional style Asian browser-based MMO. You can see it's got a lot of the nuts and bolts you expect to see in most of these browser-based fantasy MMORPGs where the character will auto-track to the questing. Very handy for that for people that kind of get lost easily. Not that I'm ever one of them. This is the tutorial mission. It's very, very basic gameplay here, just teaching you some of the basics. Alright, let's get past the point where we're doing the gopher missions where we're wandering around to NPC and grabbing all our starting gear. Here's a few minutes into it. You do have a pet, and it is a tactics-based game, so it's going to be turn-based tactics combat. So, for any of the more old-school gamers, we got the Final Fantasy style. Although, this point, pretty easy. There we go. Most of these fights are fairly easy. Some of the boss fights, a little harder. It's like most MMOs, it starts off very fast paced, very easy, and it gets the difficulty ramps up over time. Also, you'll get new skills. I do have my pet who has one attack right now. I have one attack, you'll get another one later. Or, actually, I have two attacks. I have my AoE, which hits two targets. And then my single target hits harder than my pet. There we go, I actually had to do a couple of rounds of combat there. You see, you get a lot of items. An explosion of items and levels. Level up really fast in this game, so you can expect probably dozens, if not hundreds, of levels. Here we got more of a boss style fight. We got a big guy in the middle, two little buddies for him. I'm gonna use my AoE attacks mostly to deal with the, the trash guys and him. Have my pet maybe working him over for me. Or I'll just deal with the little guys first. Fairly safe at this point. I have a lot more hit points and they're doing damage. They're Increasing the difficulty very gradually. It's very new player friendly. I also found if you have bosses with uh, trash guys around them, if you kill the boss, a lot of times the other guys will just flee. Not sure if it hurts your experience though, so if you're kind of a min max or maybe you do want to kill them. I got lots of fights now. These look like they're pretty easy though. Just drop an AoE on their head. You go bite them. Yep, that's it. You can see all the slots for new skills, so in the future there will be plenty of active abilities to choose from, making it far more tactical. For now, it's just easy and introductory. You also can progress your pet. There's a synth mechanism which lets you kind of... Good pink fox, nice bite. Let's you progress your pet, get some stronger. This is a free-to-play game which has, includes microtransactions. You can buy items. You can also buy boosts, currency, pets, pretty much everything you can think of in this game. There we go. And more combat. Oh, no. these guys look easy, I think. Just go ahead and zap you. And quests are fast and furious. No having to wander through the forest to find the two boars waiting for the the respawn like in certain MMOs. Oh, here we go. Got a little harder of a fight now. It actually did some respectable damage. I think the health bar moved. Most of these fights are fairly straightforward. Get him. So you got a timer too, so you can't just wait forever. Yeah, that fox started hitting pretty hard. Looking through some of the different options in the game, too. One thing that's a little bit hard is if you actually want to scroll through inventory or look at some of the customizations in the game, you do have to take off the auto-moving. You can just click anywhere in the map, it turns it off, you'll get control of your character, so... Otherwise, you'll keep having things pop up in the way. Right now I'm checking out the pet, seeing if he's got any options. That's his stats page. There's the synth that's to upgrade them. I don't have enough options. I'll have something in all four of those squares to do that. You can also upgrade your items too as you get gems I believe, or stars. And I believe you can buy stars too for in-game currency and probably premium currency. Just do another quest or two just to see if there's anything new, any new variety. Ha! Got a mount! Ten minutes into the game you get a mount. Nice. I keep picturing... Heck, Dark Age of Camelot didn't even have mounts for a long time, and... Warcraft, it was level 40. 
That was the point where I was screaming, like, come on, I'm tired of moving slow. And there's a first look at Tales of Laputa. Currently in the beta, coming out soon. It's available in the browser. Free game. Check it out if you're interested. And stay tuned to more from MMO Play. Thanks for watching. I'm riding a dog. <laughs>